In this video, we're going to take a look at what I call line breaks. Uh, Word now calls this a text wrapping break. And a line break or a text wrapping break is where you want to end the line without ending the paragraph. So let's take a look at what that means. So let's say that I'm going to uh, put a line break or a text wrapping break in here right before the word but, okay? Uh, if I just hit the enter key, that's normally what you hit at the end of a paragraph. Now that'll take you down to a new line, but it also uh, ends the current paragraph and starts a brand new paragraph. And you notice I've got a little white space here between the paragraphs. Uh, if you look, let's drag the mouse over this bottom line here, okay? Uh, and you see there's some space above this. Uh, if you go up here and look at uh, our layout tab, there's six points before. So because this is a new paragraph, it also gets the paragraph spacing that goes along with that. And now you can get rid of that, but it's still two separate paragraphs. And so let's um, let's just undo here and go back to what we had before. Okay, now, I don't want to start a new paragraph, but I do want to start a new line within the same paragraph. So let's go to our Layout tab here, and let's go to Breaks, and let's click on Text Wrapping. And there it is. It moves down to a new line. And if you, let's see if we can zoom in here a little bit. Uh, actually, it makes the text bigger, but it doesn't make this little symbol any bigger at all. Uh, you get this little square arrow here, an arrow with a square corner. And that's Word's way of telling you that you have a line break at that point. And again, this is, if we go to the Home tab here and uh, turn that off, the Show Hide button, uh, that goes away. So that's another reason why I think you really want to leave this pushed in and turned on all the time because things like that will show up and it'll make it easier for you to understand why your document looks the way that it work, that it does. Okay. So let's go here and click on the end and that uh, line break or text wrapping break is to the right of my cursor so I can delete to the right by hitting the delete key instead of the backspace key and I'm going to do that right now and now my document is back looking the same as it did at the very beginning. Now, there is also a way to do this from the keyboard, and I like keyboard shortcuts, and the keyboard shortcut for this is Shift-Enter. Uh, remember, Control-Enter is to do a page break, to do a line break or a text wrapping break is Shift-Enter. I'm going to do that right now. And um, you see I get exactly the same thing. I get that little arrow square arrow character there indicating a line break and it pushes this down but it is still part of the same paragraph and to prove it's still part of the same paragraph to you I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna set my line spacing to triple spacing and notice that uh, I was just in didn't have anything selected so it's gonna apply to the entire paragraph that the cursor is in and that entire paragraph goes from here down to here. Once I get past that paragraph mark, I go back to my single spacing, although that's probably actually, I'll bet if I look, it's 1.15, yeah. Okay, so it is part of the same paragraph, but it does force the text down to a new line. Now, if you're wondering what this is good for, uh, let's just go back to our original document here. Uh, and I'm going to open up a few blank lines here just to play. And I'm going to put in a bulleted list. So I'm going to do an asterisk and a space, and then I'm going to type a little bit of junk, and enter, and a little bit of junk, and enter, and a little bit of junk, and enter twice to end my bulleted list. Okay. Now, there are times, this is what I use the line breaks for more than anything else. There are times when I have a bulleted list, and I want to put something else on the same bullet, but I want to go down to a new line. Okay. So let's say I want to put my name right after this but I want my name to be down on a new line but under the same bullet. Now if I just go here and hit the enter key, well that indicates the end of a paragraph and every paragraph is a new bullet item so I really don't want to do that so I'm going to do a control Z here to undo. So what I want to do is I don't want to end the paragraph but I want to end the line so I'm going to do a shift enter and that will insert a line break for me and there's that little square arrow and there is no bullet at the beginning of this line it is still part of the same paragraph that I had up here. So this is when I find it most useful if you want to continue the same bullet but you want the text to be on a new line without a bullet. So this is probably the, the 
most useful time as far as I'm concerned for using a line break. But anytime you want to start a new line but you do not want to start a new paragraph, the way you do that in Word is by inserting a line break or as they call it now, a text wrapping break.